Hi, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and welcome to my October TBR. It is currently the 6th of October so we're running a bit late on this. Um, as usual, I found a July TBR, no, a July wrap up the other day that, um, it's a very late July wrap up and haven't hadn't even taken it off private so that's not going anywhere. Um, basically I am here to tell you about the books I'm going to read. I've got one, two, three, four, five definite physical books that I'm going to read um, and then we'll talk to you about some books that I've got saved on script and that are up on Audible I think I'm definitely going to get to. First of all I'm going to start with three rereads that are definitely going to happen this month and I'm going to start with Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend and then hopefully progress to Wondersmith, The Calling of Mor Morgan Crow, second in the Nevermore series also by Jessica Townsend and then hopefully um, when my pre-order arrives I'm going to read Hollow Pox, um, the third in the series. Um, these are, my well th that might carry over into November by the time I'm done with it but I've got it in pre-order, I'm very eager to read it. Um, these are such magical stories, um, they're very whimsical, um, it's about a young girl called Morgan Crow. Um, and basically uh, she is fated to die on her 11th birthday and then she is m whisked away by a man called Juniper North, I couldn't think of his last name, into the magical world of Nevermore and it turns out she is quite special um, and it, it definitely is the best middle grade book I've ever read as an adult and um, it really sparked a joy for me for middle grade um, when I read it a few years back and it's just so whimsical and it's so fun and it's so enjoyable and it really does bring some joy to the winter season and as definitely this year I won't be doing any rereading of a certain magical story because I just I'm this is just too much for me to reread it um I'm not saying I won't ever reread it again but I'm not giving it the space this Christmas definitely not this Christmas and maybe not in future Christmases I just don't know if this separation will occur um I've done some videos about it down below but I know that this is going to be my firm winter favourite I'm going to reread every year um as I always do um find books that are around Christmas that I think are so wonderful and whimsical and they prove really good rereads for me. So that's my first three books. I'm definitely going to work on those this month. Um, and then next is a reread in honour of UK Black History Month. Um, I've, I'm not entirely targeting my reading towards Black History Month, even though I would like to. I'd like to fill all the slots of what I'm fancying with um, books f um, by Black authors. Um, about some may have spoken about before, um, I find that my TBR is predominantly white, uh, my physical TBR and then my mental like to buy list isn't um, isn't the same, however books in the past that I just let come into my life, I just pick up books without thinking about it previously um, and I have built up a large TBR of books predominantly white through previous lack of active reading and just a lot of my books are proofs and I haven't considered anything beforehand so a lot of, I like a lot I've mentioned this before how I've just consumed a lot of, I've let a lot of books come into my life that necessarily I don't want to be on my TBR or now that they're on my TBR I will read them but I probably wouldn't have put them into my TBR anyway unless I'd found them in there's lots of different factors to it however um, what I'm trying to say is I am working on really highly diversifying my TBR but also I'm really trying hard to save money right now. Um, I want to uh, move out into my first home with my boyfriend and we're trying really hard to save and I'm trying not to buy any books that are either, um, so I, try, I only want to buy books either that I really like must have so for example Hollow Box by Morgan Crow, really highly anticipated for me. I barely bought any books in a very long time. Um, um sorry if you can hear any shouting, my neighbours have been quite loud. Um but I haven't bought any books in a very long time. However, um I like I will be purchasing a few books around Christmas and I want to keep those diverse. But my main reason for saying this is I found that 
I really want to get through my TBR because now the books are here, I want to read them. Um, and then replace books with for more duress reading. But I am using, so for example, my Scribd membership is quite often used for books of more, more diverse nature. Um, and I found me some authors that now I will immediately buy those books because I am sure, a sure thing on them. Um, and also another thing, and uh, my audible purchases, I'm trying to keep quite focused on the books that I, my diverse books on my TBR. It's a very roundabout way of me saying my physical books aren't too diverse and I want to read what's on my shelf as well as diversify, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I'm kind of making any sense what I want to do and how I'm looking to progress. Um, but a book I've been meaning to reread for a while, as I have the first two books in the series, and I very vaguely remember reading the last three books. So there's four books in the series, and that is Noughts and Crosses by Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. There are four books in the series, and I know that I've read all four, um, but I can only vividly remember one and most of two I think I can really vividly remember so I think I'm going to um read these um reread these so I'm going to read the first one that uh, during Black History Month and um, I'm really excited to read this I think it's going to be really fantastic um again I know it's fantastic I'm going to watch the ad adaptation afterwards because um I've heard really good things about it however um and then I'm going to purchase the second two because I only own the first two I think I read them when I was like 14 so it's been nearly 10 years <laughs> you see me choking on that that fat fact um even though i look like i'm still 14 years old i know i know <laughs> um but i am really excited to get back in to this story and i think um black history month is a really good month to do it um with a lot of the discourse that's going on at the moment and also it's a british author i read a lot of black american authors i'd like quite like to read some more black british authors um so along with their black history month theme i am going to read uh, maya angelou's i know why the cage bird sings um and i know this is goes off the english thing that i've just said but this is one of the books on my tbr that i am really desperate to read that fits the black history month um it's just one that I know is like an urgent one for me um, because I've really wanted to read it for such, really looking forward to um, and I really want to get my teeth stuck into and I know it is incredibly beautifully written as far as I'm aware and yeah I'm just really excited to read this. And then I've got my last physical book on my definite TBR and that is Cursed and it is a collection of short stories from different authors including Neil Gaiman, um, Charlie Jane Anders, M. R. Carey, Christina Henry. Um, this is a proof copy I got, um, and I know that this is a selection of creepy, like cursed. Obviously, it's called cursed. Um, witchy vibes. I think there's um some things to do with wishes and folklores and things like that. I think October would be a really good time to read this because it seems a very it's like a spooky read. Um, yes, yeah, so that's one I'm very much looking forward to reading. Um. And that's that's it for my physical TBR. So my physical TBR this month is for six books. Um include well, I'm not sure about Hollow Fox if that I'll let that run into November because I want it to kind of be a little bit more Christmassy. Um and November is like really when Christmas starts for me. <laughs> um but I have also got some interesting uh ebook and audiobooks i really want to i read. really would like to read um make a scene by mimi grace and this is a fake dating um romance novel and i've been really interested in romance recently and um i saw the covers the cover artist i can't remember who the illustrator is i'll um put it on the screen now in a tweet and these, these covers really drew me in and then I looked at them on Goodreads found a couple on script and this is one that I think I'm going to prioritise in October because it sounds really fun and I'm really into romance at the moment then we've got Hold Type by Jeffrey Bokai which is a book about grime which is something I'm quite interested in I quite like grime um so yeah 
Um, I've got Ghost Squad in my October TBR, but I finished that in September. Ghost Squad is a great, great suggestion for a um, October read. It is by Carabel A. Ortega, and it is a Dominican-inspired folklore, ghost hunting, badass nat grannies, and it's set in Florida, and it's just brilliant. And then I've got two more non-fiction books that I'm going to try and get my teeth stuck into and I've got Have Black Lives Ever Mattered by Mamaya Abu Jamal. Yes, yeah, so that's another social justice non-fiction. And then we've also got White Rage, The Unspoken Truth About Racial Divide uh, by Carol Anderson. So that's another one I might pick up. Um, but I will probably prioritise one or the other. I'm not sure which one yet. And then I also want to read The Jumbies by Tracy Baptiste, which is a middle grade fantasy novel rooted in Caribbean folklore which I thought would be really good for the time of year that I'm sort of feeling and also the fact I want to do some more diverse reading in general. Um, also I, w I might attempt to read the next in the series of unfortunate events which is Vile Village number seven because I haven't read any of the rest of the ones that I haven't read it in a while and I just want to pick it back up again because it was so easy um I probably will definitely my main priority for non-fiction this month will be uh, Black and British by David Olusoga um I will probably get this on audio um because I really like listening to non-fiction on audio I find it really easy to digest ideally if I have a companion book to look at but um not in this case um, I'm also, I also might take a trip to the library, um, I haven't been to the library in a really long time, I think my local library is open, I need to fix my library card, um, it has, it's not working, I can't use it, access it online, so that's really bizarre, but I would like to get some library books out, and maybe I will do a library haul, and then I can read some more physical books that are more to my mind TBR than what's my physical TBR, while also trying to reduce my physical TBR some. But if I read all of the books that I want to read, I'll only be reducing my physical TBR by two. So, it's all not great, really, is it? We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.